Good morning. Welcome to Land Race Farm LGD Rescue. Livestock guardian dog. She got me for a run again. And that's good. So I'm here with Luna. She's a little bit... <laughs> she has a little bit more energy than normal. And that's really my fault. So... We went for a little bit of a run to get some of that out. And she loves it. She's not necessarily good with the other dogs or the animals right now. But we'll see how it goes. She's still young. Very eager. And I believe her to be a Kangle. She appears to be that kind of body style. I make it sound like a car. Let's see how she does with Ray. Or Roy. Hi Roy. She likes them. Ah, no. He doesn't want to really mess with her because she's she's bigger. He's a smart dog. She is strong. I'm gonna bring her to the sheep. Nope. Ah, too much going on here for her. Come on, girl. Oh. Come on, come on, hey. She's not doing much jumping anymore. And that's a big plus. She was punching me in the face every single day. She's not doing that anymore. She gets a little excited and jumpy here and there, but nothing major. And that's pretty big. Because she's just way too powerful. She might be a 120 pound girl. And she is pure power. So. She'll knock down any human. Give him a chance. That's kind of what makes these Kangles so. So good. Is they're very powerful dogs and throughout Europe they're not using the German Shepherds anymore they're starting to use the Kangles yeah much bigger they eat more but a lot easier to deal with much easier they're a lot more stable a ton more stable and just easier all the way around and boy can they <laughs> they do the job. They really could do the job. Like she'll have no issues taking down a human. That won't be any issue for her. It'll be pretty pretty quick and easy. And so that's those are the traits that the police in other countries are starting to use. Unfortunately, our country were going in the opposite way. Uh, like the terrier. The worst position for those dogs. Pit bulls or terriers. They're not security dogs. They're family pets. They're not really working dogs. Especially security. They're the worst, worst choice. A Kangol, on the other hand, is, is a very good choice. And they got the coat, 
I can deal with the elements. I gotta brush her out. Yeah, but Luna here, she's a beast. She's an absolute beast, complete sweetheart. That's why she was punching me in the face, because she wanted to hang out with me. She wanted to give me hugs, give me kisses. She'd be amazing with children. And some dogs, yeah. She's been good with some of the dogs. It's just the attitude of the dog sometimes trip her up. She's gonna be the she gonna have to be the top dog. Not necessarily because of her personality. Because that's just who she is though. She's a Kangle. She's a guardian. So no domestic dog is gonna take the top spot from someone like this and she is a fixed female up to date on all vaccinations including rabies Just a gorgeous dog. I'm just happy. See, she, she's overall she's very mellow. And with this girl, any bad dude hanging around, they'll stop hanging around. They just don't want to try. Uh, any kind of bad, any any packs of dogs, she'll be able to handle. Uh, bear, no big deal. Mutt line, she can deal with that. Coyotes, that's an easy one. So basically, whatever your predator is, she has it covered. And she'll be able to figure everything out before anybody else does. That's the beauty of these dogs. Power, intelligence, the perception, and the sweetness, overall sweetness. And even when she's triggered, she's not coming after the human. So it's, uh, these dogs are so easy to deal with. The dogs are protesting. Somebody marked it, so she's gonna be sniffing it.
She's giving a stare now. This dog is not one to be messed with. <laughs> Luna, she's not going to put up with it. She really won't. She just won't. That's the thing with these dogs, they don't really let much slide. So if you get like a pack of dogs coming in every day, um, she's not going to tolerate that. Not at all. And if they come in once, she'll make sure they won't come in a second time. She's not going to, not going to put up with it. And like a normal dog, like the Rottweiler here won't be able to hurt her at all. And these guys are way smarter, way quicker, way stronger. But that's part of my threat here, and that's part of the threat for people around, which is very unfortunate. We have some crap owners who just don't care about their animals, about the dogs, and let them just be whatever. So the whole neighborhood has to deal with it then. And they just don't care. That's the reality of some places around. So, if you have a family, if you have pets, if you have animals, uh, one of these guys will make sure that they're gonna be safe. And that nothing, none of those, uh, dogs will be able to deal with her and most like in most cases they don't even want to come in they just uh they know they just stay away Good girl. <laughs> well, thanks for watching Luna, everybody. Please like and subscribe and help out wherever you can, how much you can. And spread this good word. Thank you.